What is going on everybody? It is Fitz Miller and the Skyline back here with another video. Over the last couple videos of the Skyline, we've been waiting for a couple things. Tires to come in, my wheel stud, which went up either yesterday or a couple days, that video. My spacers, my front spacers. So what we're gonna be doing today is test fitting my wheels, my new wheels, the SSR Viennas with the 15 mil spacers in the front and see what adjustments I need to make. On Monday, I guess the early this week when this video is going up, I'm taking my car in. They're gonna be finishing up the bushings. I'm also gonna ask them to take out a little bit of the front camber if necessary. Well, that's why we're testing the wheels. So let's get right into the video. So something I was just looking at, these are 17s, okay? The front wheels on the Skyline are 18s and the rear of this thing has 16s on it. I just measured them all just in case. I can run the front wheels. I might put both of them on today just to drive around the neighborhood, drive it out a little bit to see. I also might be lowering this car or I'll have the shop do it next week because I don't know if I can drive on 18s with it like maxed out in the front. So anyways, we're gonna continue tossing on one of the new wheels and we'll go from there. So this is where we are at. I think the wheel's a little turned. That or my alignment is absolutely shot. Okay, maybe it's just toe in. Maybe that's natural, I don't know. But here's where we are in the front. Even without these things rolled, plenty of, plenty of room up in here. Before Gatlinburg and H2O, after I get it back from the shop next week, I need to make an appointment with fender roller mat and have them roll these so I can drop this down to like right right here because that's about where it sat right there in the rear overall the spacers make it look a lot better I wonder if my alignment is like shot or if toe in this much is natural anyways spacers all good they clear they clear the caliper just fine and one of the studs one of the studs might be messed up, so I might have to replace another stud. I'm gonna see. I think you could see in the time lapse I was struggling with this one to go onto the wheel. This is just test fit, so I didn't really torque it down that much, but oh boy. Tell me why another stud decided to just strip just like out of nowhere, out of nowhere. What the heck, man? All right, so we're back to four stud gang on the front of this. I'm just gonna have to order another one tonight and toss it in the car for the shop on Monday. Don't have time, I do not have time between now and the shop to replace it because it's the weekend, shop's closed, chair farm is closed. SOL, baby. On top of another stud being stripped, one of those little acorn nuts is also messed up as well. We're gonna be hopping in the LS, taking a spacer with us to advance, and we gotta match one up that is thin enough to fit in the spacer and the right bolt pattern, or the right thread pitch. Let's do it. and we got AC in this thing I'm gonna be all right all right just kidding they didn't have the acorn nut or the lug nut that we needed so uh, I guess I'm just gonna rock four take it to the shop order another spacer <clears throat> or acorn nuts um, in the future but for tonight 
I'm just going to order that crown stud, like I said, toss it in with the shop uh, next Monday. And then pick up my car. I'm ready for it to just be all nice and neat and put together for Gatlinburg and H2O, which is like half a month. Like, well, I don't know, like 15 days for Gat and like 40-ish days till H2O. But as you can see, we got the meats. And uh, this has been Fitzmiller, back here with another video. See you guys in the next one.